confession room. A confession room? Yeah. I, I don't remember coming here. Well, you asked for it. I'm not able to see your face. My face is not important. You have two minutes. For what? What is this all about? You had something to say, didn't you? <laughs> I, I have a lot to say. Two minutes aren't enough. You just wasted 30 seconds. You know what? I'm not gonna sit here and listen to your crap. I'm gonna go out and talk to some normal people. <laughs> that pisses me off. The ignorance for people like me. You clog your words down people's throats so that they say what you want them to say. And we listen to what you want us to listen. And all those world leaders in their expensive suits talking about freedom, and climate change, and, and world peace are puppets of all those marionettes sitting behind the curtain. And we see them perform in every TV channel, magazines, newspapers, Facebook, Twitter, every fucking where. And how can you talk about freedom when you strangle people's throats? It's not freedom if it's shackled. It's a hoax. Just like peace. Beaches are supposed to be beautiful and not a, not a place where you find a three-year-old's dead body. Are you really that blind to see the chaos? The rush to get out of this hellhole? Every place reeks of terror and fear. And everywhere I look, all I see is, is war and splashes of blood. And, and, and you talk about peace? There is no peace without war. Let me tell you one thing. You are no different. You are among millions of people who speak about it every day. And just like them, you will disappear into thin air. There are about 8 billion people on earth. Do you think they'll get affected if one voice goes unheard? The truth is that we are two conflicting sides that would never have the same or even similar views. We will argue, we will debate, and the world will burn leaving us in ashes. And freedom, it is the most beautiful illusion.